my own personal belief is that he got yes, it sure. wrong, but because he said that, that's it. That's basically every decision since is based on the fact that they think she's a liar when she couldn't even communicate with the judge and she had nobody there to represent her. So, so, so today, again, it gets brought up. The judge even refers to the fact that the school counsellors and child psychologists refer to the fact of Rershad having to try and deal with the death of his father. That judgment, that judgment in 2008, the judge said, I don't believe that your husband died. I don't believe that your husband's dead. Still now, a few months ago, they got a letter saying, where is your husband? We don't believe that he's dead. Where is he? I don't know if you know... They've done everything they can to prove that because they constantly do everything they're asked to do. They provide death certificates, they provide photographs shipped over from Iran at the father's grave and that sort of thing. But because those those things aren't believed, and like I say, it's written it's set in stone from that judge at that point in time, they don't believe it. So they don't believe there's any danger to Mershaw, they don't believe there's any danger to Para, they don't believe there's any danger to any of them. So what's the impact of us having a family then? They're absolutely desperate. They live under such enormous stress because of this. They know, they know that it's not safe for them to go back to Iran. You know, whether whether judges in this country believe them or not, they are being pushed so far into a corner. People in Manchester, people in Gorton want this family uh, to stay. And I urge Damien Green to review the case, like Phil Wallace promised, review the case and let this family stay in Manchester. Obviously going to have a few top weight politicians around with a conference coming up. Are you going to be using that to try and...? Well, we'll be using that platform. And, and, but the important thing is that there's one minister making this decision. It's Damien Green. He has carte blanche to look at this case again. I urge him to step back, look at Iran, look at Iran's human rights record and look at his conscience and say, can you really honestly say, send the family back to Iran and they'll be safe? I don't think the evidence stacks up. He should look at this case again. Thanks very much. Brilliant. What was your name, sorry? I'm Simon Ashley. I'm leader of the Lib Dems on the council. Smashing. OK. All right, mate. Right. Okay, it went really badly in court today, um, as it always seems to. The judge, as always, referred back to every previous decision that's been taken. Um, as far as I can see, everything seems to rest on the original decision, the original appeal in which Farah represented herself in court with no translator, no legal representation and no English and was called an unreliable witness and a liar by the judge. And no matter what goes into court, everything seems to refer back to that um, statement by that judge. Nothing is seen as more important than that. Iranian arrest warrants are more important than that. The welfare of the child is more important than that. Nothing is more important than that. Um, Clearly we won't give up, the campaign continues. Um, as we've said um, several times over the past few weeks, we have very one very simple request, one very simple demand of Damien Green, Immigration Minister, he needs to give his family the right to remain in the UK. City councillors from Manchester are asking for the same thing, Joel Kaufman MP is asking for the same thing, his family clearly can't be returned to Iran. The judge asked today why this keeps coming back again and again and again, why so many applications to courts and applications for judicial reviews, why don't they just stop, they don't stop because they can't stop because it's not safe for them to be returned to Iran. 